Here we go. We are going to be jumping in to Gustav once again. Hmm. Well, let's just take a little minute to kind of. I think this guy needs some pants today. He's feeling pretty great. Uh, I did do a couple of kind of housekeepy things today, which is pretty pretty good. I finally got around to grabbing a copy of Pure Ref, which is great, so I got some nice squirrel references that'll come in nice and handy for posing later. I like this one particularly. I think that's going to be a great little move for him. Yeah, there's some great ones in there though. Um, and I'm pulling a lot of my face from John Candy here. Um, I'm going to try and smish those eyes closer together. So um, My job for this session really, I want to tighten up the face a little bit. So I've been going with no real reference um, uh, and, and, and start getting this guy dressed his body's not finished but I think there's enough of a pass on there to kind of um, put some clothes on um, and kind of only really finish off what I need to finish off um, so let's start moving on this I reckon I'm gonna jump in oh I've other bit of housekeeping I've got all my favourite brushes available. I finally set them up so that they're available uh, when set brush launches now. It's a relatively straightforward thing to do. I just haven't gotten around to doing it just yet. What am I doing here? I'm going to go transpose master and see post that mesh. I'll grab myself a cup of tea, which makes me feel a little. Oh, we've got some derp going on with the eyes as well. Uh, I guess I'll fix that in a, in a minute or two. Uh, let's grab a move brush. I just want to do some shifting around here. Uh, so I think those eyes can afford to come in a little more. Not a lot, but I think a little will help us out some. And I want to pull in this bit of chin. We just grab. feeling that a little bit and it feels okay. Um, let's just do a quick look at his overall posture, I think. See that one, and then I can fix those derpy eyes as well. I guess I didn't have his little, little front tooth turned on. Uh, let's jump into these eyeballs a little tidy up. Ah! What the?
see the chamber. Perfect. Perfect. I just blew up this area. It's perfect. I'm not going to try, actually, I'm going to try again with those eyes. Oh, wait, it's got a hole. Oh, I think it's the back of the tent. So many options here. Oh, it's a very, very cool item, I can't remember where I got it from now. It's probably Art Station, most of them are. That makes me oh, immeasurably happy. Got some work to do on these eyes. <laughs> uh, no, uh, Nailing Royal, it is supposed to be John Candy. I'm not quite getting there yet. I, um, I mean, let me just see if I can. He does feel a bit Trump Trumpian, doesn't he? work to do around those eyes. His eyes aren't nearly kindly enough. Um, thanks for joining. Uh, Nailing Goyle. Uh, my geometry's getting a little unruly around these eyes, but I'm, I'm doing big moves right now, so I don't really want to mess around with it too much. Oh, that's not the right move. Why no symmetry turned on? Ugh! I hate forgetting about symmetry. So I started mapping most of this out with um, sort of any real idea of, of what I was aiming for. And then I kind of halfway through was like, oh, John Candy would be a great bit of reference. Uh, and then promptly refused to look at any reference material. So, um, very much winged it so far. Uh, and as we all know, trusting our memory brain with this kind of uh, task is uh, stupid. Oh, hey, Leon. How are you, my love? down standard we're gonna chuck a little bit of a lazy bounce I like a lazy radius on a damn standard uh, and we are going to use this to kind of tighten up our eye forms a little A lot of 
build him back up to do that. These eyes. I'll jump onto the right layer, I can. Ugh. I've kind of been missing a little bit of juju this week, it feels like. Oh, you. Little angel, how is Tex ass, man? It looks like you've been eating all of the wonderful food. I need a, I need more geometry here. This is this is hurting me. It's hurting my soul a little bit. Let's check out how. Oh, I got bags of room here. Let's let's do a little dynamation. Ramp that up a little bit. <laughs> You have to buy like extra big seats for the flight back. Ah. Oh. It might actually be time to sort my geometry out here because that is that's horrible around the eye. I hate it. My dynamesh isn't giving me the juice I need. Ah! I hate having to be all technical. I want to just want to get stuff sculpted, but I think uh, I think maybe it's time. Because I'm not getting the kind of shapes and forms that I want here, or the control that I want. Or maybe I just need to take a little move away from this for a minute. Those eyes feel much better. That's, uh, so I want this to be a little friendlier as well. This music isn't as good as uh, last time. I'll try to, I thought I'd mix it up. Uh, this isn't quite as cool. through my reference images here. JC, JC is much flatter through here. It's awesome. It's only really awesome if we
Bye. We'll get some some kind of fur Bye. in there. Ooh, too, too aggressive still. I like the intensity to be quite low on that one. Just knock no, that back a little smidge. Feeling real slow today. Oh, well, we'll get there. I'm not in a rush to get this done. I'd like to be be dressing this guy up a little today, getting some clothing out. Um, but other than that, I've got no kind of set, defined goals for this. Feels. Am I just using it in something, or is it a bit? Of, I mean, yes. Um, this is your first time hanging out with me in stream, isn't it, Leon? Um, the whole point of me doing these streams is not not for um, the, obviously the inevitable internet fame that's going to come with it. Um, just to practice. I'm, I'm really poorly um, intrinsically motivated, so I won't sit and practice unless I schedule something and feel some sort of commitment to imaginary internet people um so the point is i show paul and i sculpt things and uh uh yeah there isn't a real reason for it i mean if i get some jobs dropping in i can probably you um do some of that here but for the most part this is just me sculpting stupid things that i i mean i can potentially turn into D, &D minis and you know, I, I did that with my last one. Uh, I'm going to make it available to download. So if anybody wants to download these and do little print and paint projects on them, uh, that's kind of uh, the plan. Uh, just sculpt random, random shit. And then I better also watch my Minecraft. Actually, my kids are uh, playing Minecraft in the room next to me because it's half term. I'm just having a quick pass over this body. I'm gonna tidy up some of these scratchy marks. Because I think a lot of this feels quite nice. I might can chuck some texture in later if I need to. <laughs> Thanks, um uh, uh, yeah. So this guy will be turned into a, a kind of uh, a, a, a mini, but he'll also be like a little post statue thing that uh, will be available for download at some point. Let's just clean up his butt and gooch area. I want to leave his penis off because of uh, apparently Twitch is Twitch doesn't like penises. Um, who 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 knew?
That oh, feels kind of cool. Right, this guy needs some clothes. What's the red circle tool that's adding those lines? Uh, the red circle is my uh, cursor. Um, I'm using damn standard here. Um, but the, the, what I do to damn standard is I turn my lazy radius up. So when you get damn standard out normally, it does this. Which is kind of cool. Damn standard's a great little tool. Uh, but if you come into your stroke menu, uh, down to lazy mouse and turn that lazy radius up, what it does is it gives you this little tail and you can have a lot more control over what your sort of the, the move that you're making. It's very useful. It's one of my favorites. Right, I think he needs a little bit more weight up here in his cheeks, so I'm just going to swing back up there for a second before I... I'm going to sort my geometry out as well because it's pretty horrendous right now. Um, and I'm, this is mostly mapped. I don't need to be in Dynamesh uh, anymore, uh, really. So I'm going to come into uh, what I am going to do is take a little snapshot of my surface texture. Uh, come into Zed Remesher. We're going to keep creases, we're going to hit half, and we're going to Zed Remesh this. This will bring me from 3 million polys to about 250,000, 300,000. This music's maybe slightly better than it was. I'm actually going to go and see while we're waiting for that nice dice thing. So what we've got now is 250,000 and a much cleaner geometry. You see my uh, edges now flow with contours. I've got a higher collection of um, polys in creased areas and in big planes. Uh, I've got a lower, lower density. I'm going to keep breaking that down because I want this to be a, a very low poly mesh for uh, what happens next. Um, I'm essentially moving from uh, using Dynamesh to manage my topology um, to subdivision levels now. This is very grown up. I'll probably get this down to about 40, 30,000, something like that. Maybe one more. Now, if I turn poly line fill off, you can see I've got a really blocky. Uh, Form, but it's it's got all my it's got all my main moves. I'm gonna do one more, I think. We got to twenty thousand. Twenty-four. And then I'm gonna come up to here and hit divide three times, four times. Four times will probably be enough right now. So we've got smoothness. Uh, but uh, I've lost all my detail. Which is why I clicked up here. So I'm now going to project that information back. And now is a good time to switch up music because that will take a little second. Quite like this one. Oh dear. I didn't enjoy being tabbed out of there. Let's. Uh... <laughs> One second, guys. So, Zebras fell over real hard then. Oh dear, let's see when the last quick save was, shall we?
It's before we started doing any of that business. Ah, but it's quite... Yeah. So I've lost all my history there. That was a funny little crash. Maybe Zebrush didn't like the music. I go put the kettle on while this is doing its. I'll, I'll wait till it's uh, applying that mesh, applying that projection. How is everybody today? What's everyone up to? Ever any anyone getting any nice plans for the weekend? The weekend with some holes there. Hopefully they'll get fixed when we do this again. Getting, getting this down to around, I'm probably going to stick at around 40, 50,000 this time. I think 20,000 is a little too aggressive. Not sure whether that added to the crash or not, but I don't think it did. I think it was just set brush falling over. I'm only running one stick of RAM at the minute as well. That could have something to do with it. Um, Okay, so we are down to 45,000. I'm okay with that. One, three, yeah, that feels a bit, a bit nicer. So four subdivision levels, so I can crank, crank back down to one if I need to do big moves. But if I'm doing nice, neat stuff, I've actually got quite a lot of uh, geometry up at the top there. Three, three million polys on this one. Uh, let's do a quick project of that mesh, of that history. Project. Uh, project Histoire, L'Histoire. Right, I am going to go pop the kettle on uh, while that does its thing.
Right, I've come back. Hopefully this has done its thing. Uh, all right, that's done it. That's projected all that lovely detail. And I should have enough polys to do some, some detailed work there. Uh, but I think it's time we started on this guy's clothes. Uh, I think it's going to be fun. Um, <coughs> Uh, I want to give him, I think, little shorts. He needs to have a small. I'm not quite sure how I want to do that. Part of me thinks he should be shirt cooking. Like Donald Duck, just the, the top. Let's play with that first of all. Just need to have a little think about this. Let's see here. So I was having some thoughts about clothes. I'm not quite sure I do it right, but let's carry on. I don't really think today is a day for experimenting with new tricks. It's a point zero two extract. Ooh. Zero one now. Oh, one. Ding, 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 ding. That feels like a nice start. Uh, I'm going to double that so it smashes it into. I'm not. I'm not. What am I talking about? Because I'm just going to delete all that anyway. All right. So we've extracted the start of a shirt here. This. Lots going on. Uh, the first thing I want to do is just hide the internals and then I'm going to do a little qu quick. Uh, no idea what I'm doing. Modify topology, delete hidden. Staying in geometry, we're going to grab that center measure and we're going to be halving things again. Uh, I'm going to keep creases and detect edges.
Uh, so I'm guessing that ZBrush is relatively RAM intensive um, because I'm feeling uh, being on half RAM. Anybody know how much RAM ZBrush uses? Probably not. It's probably me just imagining things. Probably have left this open. I want this really low. Oh, that. that feels good. find that kind of just reducing I'm gonna turn that off and do another remesh on that that's not a little nicer I find that kind of uh, pushing everything down to really low polys lets you retain the form but it doesn't get kind of like the super accurate creases you know to make the thing look like it's uh, super fitted I want this to feel like it's a little short I'm kind of a little tight as well. So this is this is going to be the battle now. At least one RAM. <laughs> well, I've got sixteen running at the minute, so it should be fine. But it's sixteen in one one slot so I know that does make things a smidge slower how many rams has your beastly PC got Liam you went you went beastly before any of us that feels kind of nice I I'm not. Oh, this. Looks like I've got a few people hanging out today. I can't see how many people. How do I see how many people are actually watching this noise? Uh, yeah, I've got no idea. If anybody can see that. Uh, I'm going to have to tidy that up, I think. Just get me uh, a little divide in here. Uh, edge, bridge, do a bridge, guys. Why are you not bridging? Because I need to do it here first.
Yeah, I think modern versions of Windows will struggle with 8. Um, especially if you've got Chrome running. Chrome is crazy intensive. Uh, I'm just going to ignore it. I'm, I'm having a terrible day today. Absolutely appalling. Let's fix that later. Now I know I'm building this for a model uh, to be printed, so I'm just going to smash that. Uh, uh, that thickness right into my other uh, bit of geometry. That feels fine. And I can start kind of just treating this like a regular sculpture now. Do want to grab my boot brush? jump into Dynamesh on this now. Just give me a little bit more kind of control over my geometry while I'm mapping things out. I'm also going to grab this cloth folds book, which is from a chap called Sean Forsyth, who's uh, pretty great. It's a little um, IMM projection brush, I guess, and it's real lovely. These, are, these little brushes are just great for throwing in some noise or throwing in some shapes that you can then start to kind of build up from as you kind of work out the rest of your sculpture. That first move. I'm going to hide that tail again. Just 
for more than that. There we go. Sometimes these things take a little while. Just have some big frilly meatloaf style uh, cuffs on his arms and uh, some sort of cravat I think All right, so let's start working on the collar like this. feel like I'm doing a lot of chatting today. It's strange knowing when to talk to yourself and when not to. Get. Uh, uh, what am I doing? Geometry. Is that a remesh? No, don't see the remesh. What am I talking about? Mother by the apology. Delete hidden. Then I will turn on the dynamesh. It will save everything. Up a little bit. Oh, we have back for his mask turned on, don't we? Because that's a standard thing that should be turned off. Oh, clicking all the buttons. Far too high a resolution. Always find the trick with anything in ZBrush is balancing your resolution so that you know your smooth still works how you want it to, and but you can still get enough detail in there. Do some moving around, do some tweaking with this.
Back into damn standard, crank that lazy mouse, not that much. I like it around 30. 30 is good. Oh, just to sharpen up some edges. Don't get mad at autosave, it actually saved the day today. Concentrating so hard there. Like, I could feel my face going into full concentration mode. Let's just pop that out a little bit. Oh, so the symmetry's end off. That's feeling kind of nice so far. Do you definitely need some big, kind of fluffy uh, cuffs on his hands? Bum, 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 bum. Let's go find some reference. Might as well look at them. Wow, that didn't work out that well, did it? See, in my mind, he had much frillier cuffs. Oh, I suppose they're slightly frilly. This is gorgeous, though. Quite what I was thinking. Uh, let's pop some geometry into this. move straight away. Now I'll pop some geometry into it. Watch that, 
the door before running. This is going to look great when he's got his crowbar on. That's not what I want to do. Too much talking at all, just lots of concentrating. I think it needs a little something else here.
All right, that should be a nice little. I'm not sure about the shoulder. I think they they'll definitely need to come in, but we can. So we're gonna go to 0.04 for this extract. Oh, that's way too much. janky stuff going on there especially down there down here but I got time to fix this never lasts long enough, does it? I wish there was just a way to keep tea going. I wish there was a little counter button where you could see, what is that? Chat highlight settings. VIPs and subscribers. Anyway, I was waiting, just waiting for that to do its thing, wasn't I? Uh, let me see. Let's. We just want to keep that going. Keep getting that smashed down. simple mesh so that when I do any moves on it that went too far I think actually that's not bad 
We definitely need to move some things around that. Right, let's grab our big move brush, try and tidy up some of this. This is probably as close as I get to poly modeling. I can grab individual points here if my brush is small enough. I don't know, I'll think about another remesh. Every time I said remesh, it tries to tidy up for me. Which is good, because as I'm moving things around, I'm making them very messy. Hey Spudzer, thanks for joining. You are, um, you've joined us mid sculpt. We started this guy, was it a week ago? No, I feel like I've done a little bit more than, than three hours on this guy. Uh, I think this is like a week and a half. So this guy's probably five hours plus, what time is it? I have no concept of time. Probably six and a half hours on this guy so far. Uh, he is a John Candy inspired were squirrel because that's what happens sometimes. There we go, John Candy inspired were squirrel. I'm just giving that, this guy some clothes now so that he isn't all naked. as close to poly modeling as I ever get just nudging these guys around until I get something that feels kind of in the right ballpark no, I like to do a, a dynamic on this Got a little bit of tidy enough to do but that's that's not horrendous Crank the thickness up, set that loads. I still got quite a bit of work to do here. Softly, softly. Thank you. 
And it's not time yet, but I'm just going to throw in, because I really want to see how this is going to feel. cravat's going to look. more geometry as well. Just pop my symmetry off here for a second. Not like that. I'm not sure whether I like that waistcoat at all. Coat on and off for a minute. Yeah, he needs it. I just need to do it better. But that's okay. <laughs> I can turn the clothes off if you want, mate. Here we go. Let's let's do a quick little update. Uh, we can do a strip tease. The cravat's coming off, guys. There you go. Just for Dan. Uh, he's got his collar and his cuff still on, like a. Like your favourite type of dancer, Dan. There we go. 
sekarang Thanks for jumping in, Iron Eagle Uh, we're getting up to the hour and a half mark. Uh, I'm getting quite close to needing uh, a little bathroom break. Um, uh, I'm going to go check on the boss and see how she's doing. Um, so I'm going to call that for a, a couple of minutes. Um, you guys hang out and chat. Uh, I'll leave these lovely tunes on for you. I'll be back in a sec. So, I have returned it. I've been doing quite a lot of Zedbrush recently, and I've I kind of been waiting for the kind of the burnout to hit. You know, when you do something cool too much, um, and I, I don't think I'm burning out, but I'm I am definitely running out of juice. Like, I definitely I've, I've been through a period where kind of like. It felt like every sculpture was an absolute breeze. Like everything I did was super easy, uh, and now I'm starting to feel a little that pushback a little. Um, and, uh, and, it, and it's not nice. Uh, let's just upset down for a second. I need uh, this kind of angle. And I, I always kind of talk about, often talk about how kind of 
you know, some sculptures are a fight. Some are an absolute battle. Hey, Emily Deadvies. Thanks for popping in. Uh, that was too aggressive. Just far too aggressive. Why would that be turned up so gosh darn high? Again, thank you very much for dropping in. Uh, we are currently uh, sculpting a were squirrel who is loosely, I say loosely because <laughs> I'm shit at likeness sculpture, uh, but loosely based on uh, John Candy. So, um, That was my lovely good lady wife giving me a smooch goodbye. Uh, she's hanging out at home today because so are my boys. They're just over here playing some Minecraft. You can probably see the Minecraft happening in the background. Not a chatty bunch today, are you guys? Discovered this slash brush last time I was on and it's kind of amazing, but you've got to be Yeah, you've got to get the size right. Otherwise, it's real twitchy Bunch of you guys are in the workshop today. Fair enough. Fair enough. I am. I'm also being super quiet. I kind of tend to mumble a lot when I'm doing this. Is it a mumble or is it just my radio voice? Is here. I'm just gonna sit in. Maybe I'm trying to channel a bit of Don because we all appreciate that. Hey, brother. We just gotta lean into this. We're just gonna rehearse these moves over here. There's a bit too much noise going on there. Let's turn the symmetry back on for that. I have no idea what that hashtag means, Iron Eagle. But thanks. I mean, are, are you in the middle of a stock check? So you've got time to concentrate on me rather than your your actual very important, very grown up job. Dad, what you saying? I want my trim dynamic brush here. So I feel like I just want to sharpen up my head. 
this move here, I want it to feel like it's pulling, and it just isn't, no matter what I do. Still don't know what to do about his bottom half. I kind of feel like he should be wearing some little shorts. But I like his. What did my friend call it? Called it a gunt. That waistcoat's starting to do a little better now. Ah, I'm gonna give him some shorts. I don't know why I'm selecting a brush, I'm going back to. I think this should, should be like 70s shorts. That was a curve, not a mussy. Let's mark out where that is. Not there. So if I'm going to go up and then straight down. Oh, they feel like perfect shorts, to be honest. We are going to have to get a little bit of sculpting in. That's gone rather well. Just doesn't strike me as the type that would. A fashion a hole for his. So we're just gonna like strike that. That's made everything so much worse. Yeah, everybody loves the the, the little the little hot shorts. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, he's gonna you know he's gonna be kind of he's gonna need the flexibility, uh, the freedom. I mean, this outfit's very much kind of mullet like you know it's it's business up top, party downstairs. Uh, Vim, tell me. Ooh. Um, my little boy played an absolute blinder, uh, the youngest uh, Fletcher, um, convinced his mama to get Vim, but we don't have juice very often now, so we drink water a lot, we try and be grown-ups, uh, and I don't think Fletcher ever tasted Vimto um, at the time, but he was just insistent that he wanted some Vimto, so we got some Vimto in, like, like when we get pop, it's normally cheap pop as well. So to, to have some, some fancy cordial, oh, 
Um, honestly, it took me a, a couple of goes to adjust to it uh, being so gosh darn tasty. But yeah, a bit of info. Let's just tie this up geometry wise. I think there's going to have to be some sort of concession to these. I'm going to have to do some research in a minute, guys, and some reference hunting, and I kind of don't want to, because, because I've got a, yeah, oh, look, we got, oh, we've got a bunch of geometry there, oh, that was silly, let's, uh, I need to organize my sub tools as well here. Let's turn that size down. Hover over here. That will delete. Oh, that's adding. Look at me poly modeling. That's pretty much all I've got, guys. Remesh now. Uh, turn off half and just every time you do it, you get a nice, it, it redoes the mesh. So if you're making changes, it's worth hitting Z remesher because it'll kind of tidy up the geometry as well as it goes. Now I might actually be able to do some, uh, some poly modeling here because it'll be simple. Uh, if I grab if I grab this and I want to Q mesh oh, yeah. that's up a little radius there. Insert single edge loop. It was worth a try. I'm not very good at that sort of stuff. Uh, what I will do, I want to kind of extrude these as well. So I'm going to top of the face, Q mesh poly loop, which should be all of. Nope, that's not that poly loop. <laughs> I try to do poly modeling. Uh, I honestly don't know enough about it yet to be uh, any good. Uh, let's get into dynamic subdivision. Right. And we will bang a thickness on here. We will offset that thickness and oh, make everything horrendously bad. That's a fairly solid start for my shorts, his shorts, our shorts. Thank you. 
Oh, wrong way. Ah. more geometry in these now. I'm just gonna roll back in a few seconds guys. Thank you. 
Did I really just survive? guys i've had 15 cups of tea today it feels like well, at least my bladder thinks that we've got that much tea i'm kind of not feeling this guy today i might switch up and jump onto something else let me see uh this guy is a uh, uh, um character that one of my friends is playing in a D&D game where we're all kind of uh, werefolk shifters and I'm kind of gonna pause it there I think and then fire it over to her for some feedback about his clothes. I think I've got what she wanted um, but you never know so I'm gonna let's grab a quick render of that and have a look and see how it feels and then that much white box has some uh, pretty great render settings in there already. Let's get back into basic material. That feels nice already. So we'll look at how things feeling. Yeah, I mean he's definitely got a good vibe going on. jump back into the face for a little while. I want a break from clothes. I'm still not great at, at doing clothes and things. So I'm going to jump in to the face again. Try and start to tighten up a little bit of uh, this lightness. Ooh, I've got crunchiness going on around here, so I'm going to have one more. Oh. I'm going to divide that one as well. 
So I'm trying to get these eyes a little better. Thanks for dropping in, Iron Eagle. Sorry the chat wasn't too uh, involved. I'm, again, I'm kind of struggling today. I kind of, uh, love what I'm doing. I love playing around in that brush. But, but some days it's just harder than others. Thank you. 
This, can, this turn needs to be much more aggressive. That's a little sweep on that. It's a damn standard move, isn't it? Back, back signs are
That feels great. Love that profile. I think these sections here are a little aggressive. Let's try and get. I'm kind of feeling a little tighter. A little softer, I think. Uh, if I just grab my. I mean, it isn't a perfect John Candy, but it isn't a million miles away if I turn that slightly. Okay, I think I've got some of the main moves in there. Got my move and just do a little bit of a that bit square and that bit square. Okay, he's starting to feel much nicer now. I like this guy. enough John Candy in there for it to be fun. Should we go up and I mean the feet and hands look okay. No need to be too grown up. So into my last hour. Do here. There's a lot going on that I'm super not happy with. Stages of sculptures are always uh, quite painful for me uh, because it's you get to a point where it's uh, you're into kind of diminishing returns when you're enduring those early stages and everything's fast and loose and uh, it gives me all of the dopamine that I need. <laughs> uh, I get really good response, really good yeah. feedback. Uh, as you get into the later stages, you're putting in the same amount of effort, if not more, to get less of a result and that sucks it really does it's real difficult uh, and unless I can get into a rhythm I get real frustrated real quick I think 
I think you need some sort of collar on this waistcoat. Maybe that might be too much. I spend more time telling telling it right. I need to sort out my subtools as well. Right, let's do that in just a second. I suck. I suck so hard. Just want to do a straight line, and I can't do it. Take a nice deep breath. Feeling pretty big, guys. I might have to call this soon. Big stretch. Do some organizing. So let's pop this into a new folder. Let's, I'm going to merge all those. Tidy up this hair. I'm going to pop back to her and keep some things. Oh, I could really pose as well now. Oh. Yeah, that's 
I want to sculpt a little bit of his cravat. That's a lot of polygons. Oh, 
don't even notice. Now let's give him some food. going on now. No, no. I'll come it's it's it. it's it's Yeah, I feel a little lost today. I'll just noodle around on his tail for a little bit. So I'm not giving this much love. Ugh, horrible. Oh, random. Oh, it says I went over the hand there. I got a little random skip.
This is uh, kind of amazing. Uh, I mean, that's been my favorite thing about today. I'm making a real mess of this. big old conversation with Don Lanning about sculpting hair and it's, it's, it's he's exceptional at that kind of the hair that kind of feels sculptural but still kind of um, kind of feels like hair like fluid and light and uh, it's a it's a really an art sculpting hair on its own Yet another area where I need to improve. The theory behind it is that you kind of track in the big moves, the waves, the flow. And then you kind of just hint at the, the bits in between. Oh. 
last couple of minutes here, I think, guys. I am. I've got a sore arm. I'm uncomfortable. You know what? Here's where we're at. That's not a bad bit of progress today. Do a little render on that. I think I am going to call it. Yeah, he's got. We've got work to do on these little shorts. But everything's had a little bit of attention. We've done it. We've given it all a bit of a once over. I'm super, super happy with the face. I think I need to go and uh, get myself in a better frame of mind. Maybe attack this a little bit later. Oh, but it's not bad afternoon. Yeah. Sorry, we're a smidge shorter than advertised, um, but I'd be. Um, thanks for hanging out, everyone. Um, yeah, I will catch you all uh, next time when I will maybe continue with this guy, maybe pick up something else. I've got a couple of other little things on the go here. Let's have a look and see what else I can pick from. Did start to do some work on uh, a cyberpunk guy that was on Wednesday. What was that? like I didn't save any of my changes uh, so let's go back into my quick saves here because we made it this far with this guy maybe I should jump should have jumped in on him for a little bit no, I'll give him a little noodle for 10 minutes Uh, I wasn't feeling super stoked to this guy last time. Hence the hope. Uh, I mean, his legs are all wrong. He's got some bun. Uh, oh, let's get that saved out as well. I'm not in a Zenfish mood today. Uh, I feel like I need to fix this guy though.
What's going on with this guy's bro? So, I'm an idiot. I'm just an idiot. Yeah, I'm caught it. I'm just making stupid decisions. And that's the end of the playlist. I think that's. Uh, I'm going to call that a sign from the gods. We save that guy. And I am going to go. Thanks very much for hanging out.